too. CBS News Update, I'm Dave Barrett. Proud to serve and connected to the Halifax area. WNDB News Talk 11. 80 degrees along the world's most famous beach, headed for a high in the lower 90s. It is 7.32. This is the WNDB Morning News, brought to you by Tom Cook Jewelers of Daytona Beach, your official Rolex jeweler. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mark Williams. Our top local story, a close call for a winter park father and his autistic son. 45-year-old Walter Marino and his 13-year-old son Chris plucked from the Atlantic Ocean early Sunday morning. They spent 12 hours in the rough surf. The teen was swept out to sea early Saturday night by rip currents, with his father jumping into the water to save his son. Walter Marino was pulled from the water by a fishing boat. His son rescued by a Coast Guard helicopter, the pair taken to Halifax for treatment. Hurricane Ike now over central Cuba, lashing the communist island nation with high winds and heavy rains. Ike is now a Category 1 storm, but Governor Chris says folks heading south should keep an eye on the weather. There is always uncertainty with these forecast tracks, but Hurricane Ike could threaten the Florida Keys by Tuesday before turning northwestward into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico by the middle of the week. And that, the National Hurricane Center says, would place it on a path for landfall west of New Orleans, similar to that taken a couple of weeks ago by Gustav. The state's insurance commissioner turning down State Farm's appeal of a decision to boost rates 47% in Florida for hurricane coverage. State Farm's Michelle Conley says the company believes it is on the right side of the issue. We firmly believe that the evidence uh, in support of our rate you know, request is overwhelming, and uh, we've supplied that. We'll continue to supply information as requested and work with the OIR. She says the, they need the rate hike because of the increasing cost of doing business in the state, especially insurance business here in Florida. Gas prices have held steady over the past week across the state, but that could change for the worse. For the past week, the price of gasoline in Florida has been $3.69 per gallon, but Hurricane Ike and OPEC could drive them up again. According to AAA Motor Club, Ike could put pressure on oil and gas prices if the storm hones in on the oil rigs in the northern Gulf of Mexico. In addition, OPEC is scheduled to meet Tuesday, and if a decision is made to cut crude oil production, that will place additional pressure on fuel prices. That's WNDB's Michelle Murillo. Jimmy Johnson won the NASCAR Cup Series event at Richmond on Sunday. It was a rain-delayed affair from Saturday night. Johnson taking the checkered flag, Tony Stewart on his bumper. He says he's going into the chase for the Sprint Cup with a lot of confidence. It is. Um, we'll take it. The best thing, even if we didn't win today, um, we, we've been doing a lot of things right. Stops have been great. Pit calls have been great. I've been doing my part in the car. So victory certainly helps, but we didn't need to, need to win to know that we were going to be competitive in the chase. The Tour now moves on to the New Hampshire Motor Speedway for this weekend's event. The New York Stock Exchange begins the day at 11,221, the Dow gaining 33 points during Friday's session. The Nasdaq finished down three points to close at 2256. The S&P 500 closed up five points to 1242. Traffic and weather next, WNDB Morning News Time, 735. Study Fred Couples and Phil Mickelson on the range, and you'll not just see the differences, but the similarities, like wonderful balance, timing, and rhythm. Something else they have in common? The Rolex Day Date, which must survive grueling tests before it leaves Geneva, so it will perform as well in the real world as in practice. To see the Rolex Day Date in 18 karat gold or platinum and a selection of other Rolex timepieces, visit your official Rolex jeweler, Tom Cook Jeweler. Not every jeweler gets to display the Rolex crown. If you're considering investing in a Rolex, protect your investment by visiting an official Rolex jeweler. Only they can provide you with a Rolex warranty bearing the store's name. And this warranty is backed by the renowned Rolex Service Network. To see a wide selection of Rolex timepieces for both men and women, visit your official Rolex jeweler, Tom Cook Jeweler. Tom Cook Jeweler, located at 150 South Beach Street in beautiful downtown Daytona Beach, creating the standards by which all others are measured. Hours Monday through Friday, 930 to 530, and Saturdays 10 to 3. 737 at News Talk 1150 WNDB. You're hearing the morning news. Let's get an update of traffic and weather together, starting with WNDB's Jennifer Keith. Morning, Miss Jen. Well, hey, Mr. News. We have road work wrapping up in two areas right now. This report's brought to you by Gold Bond Ultimate Restoring Lotion. Crews should be getting out of the way on Nova Road between Brentwood and US 92. They've been resurfacing that roadway overnight. Also on Clyde Morris Boulevard between Bevel and Mason Avenue, you will find that road work is getting out of the way there at the moment as well. 
well. On I-4 westbound, volume building from before the St. John's River Bridge to just after the bridge, but not heavy delays. See for yourself why everyone's talking about new Gold Bond Ultimate Restoring Lotion with seven moisturizers and vitamins plus CoQ10 to help your skin look and feel like it used to. Gold Bond Ultimate Restoring Lotion. I'm Jennifer Keith, News Talk 1150 WNDB. Sunshine and some clouds today, breezy with a thunderstorm in spots this afternoon and evening. Highs of 87 to 92, partly cloudy and breezy tonight, low 74 to 80. I'm meteorologist Ted Azair. 80 degrees along the world's most famous beach. Our next news at 8 o'clock from the CBS Radio Network. We're, ser- we're proud to serve Volusia and Flagler counties on 1150 WNDB. The entire world on the Internet at WNDB.am. With bulletins at once, I'm Mark Williams, WNDB Morning News Time, 738. Are you looking for a new home, but you have...